Hi everyone, here I am presenting a left congenital cleschiotoma with some evidence for a tensor tympani involvement of the lesion. The idea of the tensor tympani being the site of early congenital cleschiotoma was first proposed in 2016 and more recently a series in 2022. An H&E section from this series shows quite clearly the cholesteatoma attached quite densely to the tendon of the tensor tympani. Here I present a three-year-old male with an incidental finding after ear infections in the anterosuperior quadrant and the audiogram shows relatively normal hearing with a relatively flat tympanogram. In the operative position the lesion can be seen anterosuperiorly and the incisions are begun at 6 and 9 o'clock to allow a wide inferiorly based flap to give us good access to the tensor tympani. The lateral incision is made at around 3 to 4 millimeters as we're not likely to require an atacotomy or OCR and the drum was detached off the handle of the malleus. You can see some mucus in the middle ear suggesting middle ear infections and here the posterior superior attachment to the tensor tympani can be seen relatively easily. The drum was detached in the usual fashion from the handle of the malleus and with this last removal of the drum we can quite clearly see that the drum easily lifts off the lesion and with a 30 degree scope we can see the anterosuperior superior limits of the mass just here appearing to pedunculate from the tensor tympani. A combination of short and long hook as well as a short Thomason was used to scrape the inferior aspect of the tensor tympani canal and here we can see some bare bone of the tensor tympani canal and the most stubborn attachment was to the soft tissue aspect of the tensor tympani tendon. Here a speed ball with short Thomason is being used to scrape along the bare bone and as I mentioned before the trickiest part was the soft tissue attachment to the tendon itself and as you can see with 0 and 30 degree scopes it's difficult to get a good view in front of the handle of the malleus. Now using these instruments once again we can see that the last amount or remnant of attachment is clearly seen on view here with the final attachment to the soft tissue junction of the tensor tympani to the bony canal and this was ultimately removed with a small pick and then the lesion is relatively intact aside from where it was attached to the tensor tympani and the canal, the bony canal of the tensor tympani and as the lesion is being removed that site of attachment can be quite easily seen here on removal. The lesion measure around four millimeters or so and using a 30 degree scope we're seeing some anatomy of the protympanum, the subtensor recess, the protoniculum and the eustachian tube opening and then a KTP laser was used. Here we're illustrating where the facial nerve is above the KTP laser to try and reduce the risk of residual disease and then the wound was closed in the usual fashion with gel foam and topical ciprofloxacin. Once again everyone thank you very much for watching and we'll talk to you soon.